A facelift for an aquarium? And you got an announcement for me? Man, I can't wait to hear this. Hello, welcome all you fish tank ninjas to Infamous Aquatics. And in this episode of Infamous Aquatics, I'm going to explain, give you guys an announcement of what the beast is going to be. Oh, but wait. First, let me explain why I'm not in front of this camera talking to you guys. All right, I did a change to the aquarium stand. The reason I'm not in front of the camera is because I want you guys to see this change. Right? But I don't really feel like it justifies an entire video explaining what I'm doing. Basically, what I'm doing is painting the stand. I'm changing it because I don't think the all-black modern stand fits the decor. Yeah? I said decor. The decorations of the pool house. So I'm going to change it up. I'm going to spice it up. I'm going to sexy it up and do something different. Now, let's talk about the struggles I've gone through in deciding what this tank is going to be. As you guys know, I announced and showed you guys this tank a couple weeks ago. And throughout that time, my one or two choices went to like 50 choices. Because everyone was giving me such good ideas. People were saying, make a nano tank. Only put small fish in it. Do a new world plan of cichlid tank again. Do a Tanganyika tank again. Do a reef tank. Do a discus tank. Do a shrimp tank. Do a monster tank. Do a blah 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 tank. So many different tanks that I didn't even know existed. And it just made my choice harder. And that's why this video took so long. With that said, I'm so grateful to everyone participating and giving me suggestions because there are really tanks I did not know existed. Things I've never done and never even thought about doing and having a 240 gallon opened up those doors for me. Alright, now, the reason I decided to do the tank I'm doing right now is because of the fact that it's something I've wanted to do for years and I couldn't do to its full potential until I got something of this magnitude. On top of that, the relaxing coloration of the fish and such that are going to be involved are just so calming. There's going to be a bunch of blues, light blues, uh, yellows, uh, whites, slight blacks, tans, all very peaceful colors. And that's why I sit in front of my fish tank anyways, to chill out, to relax, to kick my feet up and enjoy myself. And the last reason is the personality of the fish involved. The personality of the fish involved are just so drastic. They have such amazing niches, such distinct personalities, such interesting ways of going about in a fish tank and putting them together is just going to create an ecosystem that's just so fun to watch. When you get tired of watching one fish, you go watch the other and just enjoy what they're doing. Enjoy how they interact with each other and enjoy the way they have their own niche. I, ca I can't express how much I love little niches and little, what's the word, quirky behaviors in a fish tank because in the end of the day, this is my soap opera. This is my entertainment. This is the way I relax and this is what I like to do. Now, everyone has their reasons for picking their own tank, okay? And for each, their own. But this is the reason why I've decided to go with, drum roll, please. Drum roll. I'm waiting for the drum roll. Just kidding. I can't hear you drum rolling. The new tank. And it is going to be a Tanganyika community tank. What? Didn't you already do that? Yeah, I already did that. But like I said, I couldn't do it to the extent that I wanted to. I did it in the 90 gallon. But the amount of fish in the 90 gallon already felt crowded. And I felt like counting it, there was hardly any fish in there. And they were so small. But now that I have this long, more shallow tank, I'm going to be able to do something amazing. I'm about to raise the bar. I'm about to take it to the next level and have some fun while doing it. Guys, I hope you're as excited as I am. If you're not, I'm sorry. But it was between this and I was really debating about doing a planted tank of some sort. But this is something I've been wanting to do for years. So, hope you guys respect that decision. And I hope you guys are ready. Shout out to my boy Morris McComey for, for deciphering the code of the name of the 90 gallon reef. If you do not know, the name of the 90 gallon reef is Beauty. And the name of the 240 Tanganyikan community tank is Beast. You're welcome Disney, free advertisement. If you haven't seen the movie, go see it, it's a classic. 
Leave a comment below. Let me know if you would rather see a something to talk about or an easy refit episode this Sunday. Hit that like button if you like what I'm doing or hit that like button if you don't because we're friends and we support each other. Also, make sure to subscribe. I got videos coming at you two times a week every Sunday and every Wednesday. And on top of that, check out the Fish Tank Hooligans. I'm talking about Fishy Drizzy and Danny Alano. And don't forget to do amazing things like becoming a squat bar and letting a young lady squat you while you count her reps. Yes, I just went there. And until next time, guys, tank like a boss or like a squat rack.